Hello, this poem I'm going to read for you today is devoted to the goddess Nechalenia, whose orders have been found throughout various regions of the Netherlands, um, a goddess of the North Sea associated with fishing vessels, traders, merchants, sailors and so forth. She's also a goddess depicted often holding a basket of apples and in the companionship of a, a small dog, probably a ship's dog, sort of a, a terrier, something of that sort that might have helped with keeping the rat population down on the old um, fishing vessels and merchant vessels. Um, Nehalenia was worshipped by the ancient Celtic tribes of the area and in due course when the Romans came and, and colonised, occupied the area, um, they too took to worshipping Nehalenia and she's also extremely popular with um, heathens both ancient and modern. So she's a goddess who crosses many borders which seems appropriate really if you think about it for a goddess associated with um, sea trade. Uh, obviously the, the connection and interaction between many different cultures. So this is simply called Nechalenia. Mistress of the northern seas, take ease on your driftwood throne. Hulls groan, gulls bear merchants please, that sweet breeze steers oceans roam. Comes the wild and baying hound, beach bound, the grey grave guard, laps, salt strewn paps by sharks home sound. Man meat drowned in sea trolls' traps. Bury their bones in sea made sand. In land under wave they rest. Sailors nest, till in seals' band they form her hand. Sea dog zest. Apples red from western isle beguile waves with russet hues. Sun dog, sun's blood imbues crested mile. Lifestyle fades, pays tidal dues. Shoreside she stands, harbour's dame, horizon's aim, boat bow taut, travel fraught, oceans ne'er tame, such a game, adventure wrought. Thank you.